the mirror that I'm painting right now, it shows um, a dance. It's part of the Hispanic community. This is actually a uh, part of a painting from a very famous but forgotten master. His name is Jesus Elguera. Jesus Elguera. And uh, a lot of people call him the legendary Jesus Elguera. He was a Mexican artist that if you actually look at all like the Aztec warriors and like all the traditional Hispanic art, he's the one who painted all of it. And uh, I grew up, I grew up as a kid copying his paintings uh, as a drawing. And that's kind of how I taught myself how to draw. paint it's almost like all the noise in my head just kind of goes away and I don't think about anything and I just kind of go into autopilot and I just start painting I kind of have to listen to music to paint but for the most part I'm just kind of an autopilot when I paint so I'm just thankful that I get to live in a time and in a place that I can actually think about what makes me happy and actually do it. I do get a lot of people that contact me that, that you know, they like the idea of being an artist, but they don't necessarily have the motivation to be an artist. And because this is a lot of work and that's the part that a lot of people don't see. They just see the finished work and they see that it was done within a few days, but they're not here like lifting ladders and, you know, going up and down the ladder all day. So. It's a lot of work, it's not for everybody. If you're just trying to do a career just because you want a title and money, you're gonna find yourself when you're 35, 40 years old and you're not gonna be happy. From what I see. I, I've never seen people actually happy when they just went at it for the money. I see people happy sometimes when they doing something that is like really when, like something that they're passionate about. It's having a passion and a purpose. Thank you. 